hey, Sarah, so glad you sent me the email. I'll be glad to help. Uh, when it says use technology, what you can do is open up Stack Crunch over here. And then go to Stat, Calculators, and Binomial. And it'll be really simple. Uh, number of trials is 12. Probability of success is 0.7. And then probability that x exactly equals, so it's a really nice calculator, you can just choose exactly, is equal to 8. Okay, and then that's the probability that you want. Nice thing is, you can use this on the test. You just copy, control C, and then control V, round the, the answer, um, do not, let's see, four decimal places, so 2, 3, uh, 1, 1. Okay. And then again, I uh, want to help you out. You know, you can do this for all of the questions in this entire section. And literally, it should just take you, you know, just, I mean, not even, you know, 15, 20 minutes to do all these if you use the calculator, which you will have access to on, uh, on the actual quizzes and exams. So let's do one more here. So we'll do n equals this time 40, and p is 0 0.96, 0 0.96, and this time we want x exactly, again, exactly equal to 38, and compute. So 2646 is 0.2646, and we get the right answer. So let's see if we can do one, and some of these are going to be application types of problems. So let's try to do one here maybe with the greater than or less than. And literally, you'll love, again, you know, Stat Crunch is really great. Um, I highly recommend, yeah, so here we'll do one that's less than or equal to. So we'll just go back over here to our nice little calculator, and we'll say that n is equal to nine this time, and p is equal to 0.4. And this time we want x less than or equal to, so we'll choose that one, three. And then that's the probability we want. 4826, so we'll type this in, 0.4826, okay? All right, so I hope this helps, and if you need anything else, please don't hesitate and let me know. Uh, take care, have a good day.